the house. It's been nine months. You telling me in nine months he couldn't get a job? Nine or months? Come on, dude. In this economy, when every when job unemployment is the lowest you know it's ever you, been. You know So let's go on your view. What happens if the money runs dry? I do what any other fucking adult does. I go to work. I go to work. And I earn my money. Like any other fucking adult. That's what happens. And I wouldn't necessarily want Jason to work because, you know... He doesn't have any job experience, really. And I just... <laughs> Everything he's done for me... Everything he's done for me... I, I, I owe it to him to work for him. You know, I owe it. I owe him. You know, I, I don't mind being the breadwinner of the family if I need to be. It's not the first time I've been a breadwinner in the family been and I'll work so that would that's what would happen if the money dried up I'd work like any other fucking adult would cause unlike some people who like to put rumors out there that I'm lazy and I don't work and blah 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 blah, blah. She was living good, wasn't she? She really enjoyed talking down to the poor. Rubbing that money in people's faces. Shani had no problems going to restaurants, concerts, movies, dispensaries, groceries. She had no problem at all. So what do you suppose Shani did do? When the money finally ran out. First thing Shani did was. She turned on the stream. Pointed the finger at Jason. Humiliating him. After spending all his money. And her just laying around. For two and a half years. God knows if Jason will ever fucking find a job. Shanny wasn't going to let go of that lifestyle of just laying around. Shanny wasn't going to get no job. Shanny needed to come up with something. Shanny came up with the plan. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to let her tell you herself. No, I, the, the most I'm telling you is I'm very sick. And I'm very scared, and I don't know how much longer I have left on this earth. Yeah. And I, I want the rest. Like, I don't know how much I have left. I'm going to be honest. I don't. Well, you're exhibiting and, all, all the same symptoms my mom had with stage four cancer, Shani. And I, I just, like, seriously, for the rest of my life, I just, I want to be happy and calm and not stressed out and bullied and treated like crap. And you deserve that. I want to, I, I want to be in peace. You know, I, I wanna I wanna be able to have a place where I can I can die in, I guess you could say, and and just feel a little bit stable in my surroundings. That's all I want. That's all I, I like it's I'll what I need. The shot of the mountain. Yeah, right in the background. It's gorgeous. I know. What's up guys? <clears throat> What's up? Um, uh, how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Me, I'm just like a few paperwork away from finalizing, finalizing disability, thank God. Um, that's going to help a lot.
is when I'm finally on disability. So I'm like almost there. So all those stupid people that want to say I'm lazy and you need to get a job and shit. It's like uh, going on disability. Because I can't. I'm too sick. And um, my walk-in is like the really scary thing. It's like it's going... Um, what do I do when I can't like walk anymore when I can't like physically go to the bathroom I'm just wondering how does that work how, how does that how, how, what happens after that but um what I'm figuring they're gonna get me on disability and then I'm gonna have a uh probably a health care worker come and help me out for about 15 hours a week. I'm thinking that's what's about to happen. Um, I do have one. I, I do have a. Like can someone. Um, give me like 30. 20 dollars. Something like that. Because I have to get my guinea pig. Some food. Um. Like, right now, he's chewing on a head of celery, but, um, I do need to get my guinea pig some food. So, if you could spot me $20, $30, that would make it, it, it would help him out. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where I am in life right now. I just have to, tomorrow I'm going to be. Finishing off that paperwork and sending it in, um, and then I gotta I gotta make wheelchair walker. Yeah, I'm thinking they're probably gonna write me a script for a wheelchair at least. I already have a walker. Um, but a wheelchair would 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 help me. It'd be less of a struggle going from one area to another with a wheelchair. So, um, that would be good. Um. But I do, I do have a walker. Um, it's just, uh, like, how my gait is. They haven't figured out what's going on with my legs. But how my gait is, it's like, I stand up for more than two minutes and I'm, like, shaking and tremoring really bad. So, the walker makes it, it, it helps keep you steady somewhat but when you're shaking as bad as I am and struggling as bad as I am standing up it makes it very very difficult so I'm hoping a wheelchair will make my lifestyle a little bit better than what it's been you know which is basically sitting next like as close as I possibly can to the bathroom in case I had to go so I don't have to walk so far uh, but it's But pray for me, pray that everything in the disability comes together and gets together and that would help. It was funny, like, I was like, I went to the house on Fisk, yes, or the other day to look at how G-Man has been fixing it up and I, I climbed up the stairs just to see the bedrooms, you know. He's he's making the house beautiful, by the way. But uh, when I was going down the stairs, I was so, like, uneven keel. 
that G-Man was, like, in front of me, and Jason was in back of me, and they were both, like, trying to help me get down the stairs. Um... Yeah, we have one of those portable potties, too. You know, so... <clears throat> Elizabeth, I have a lot of problems with me. So, it's just not one thing. It's a bunch of stuff. Um... Probably why there's not, like, just one diagnosis. There isn't. It's just a bunch of stuff that they're trying to, like, go through the pile of crap. My... I'm just really sick. Um, and I, like... My skin is so fragile lately. Like, I just scratch it and it just, it's, like, thin. I don't know what's going on with it. I gotta figure that out, too. But I gotta go to a bunch of appointments soon to get this disability gone. And when I'm finally on disability, I guess I, I, I'll feel a little bit better. That I can sustain myself a little bit, I guess. You know, because I need it. Badly. Uh, I don't know. It could be another thing that I don't want to talk about right now. Um. But yeah, my my goal in life is to live in a peaceful, secure place so I can just relax for the end of my days and not struggle. I just want to relax whatever time I have left and that's what I'm doing or trying to but yeah I got a couple more tests to go and I'm good I'm solid um, You gonna call someone who's on disability lazy? I don't know. They probably will. <laughs> Whatever. When you can't walk, you can't walk. You can't expect people to understand it. I wish I could get a little bit of empathy, though. A little bit of empathy. A little bit of, like, sympathy over what I'm going through because I'm going through a lot. And I'm doing it alone. You know? Uh, that's, that's, that's the most important thing is like, I'm going through all this horrible shit and I have absolutely zero family and friends who support me. And I, I like, it's very lonely when you're going through the most terrible thing in your life. And you have no one but yourself. It's kind of a really big mind fuck, especially after you told these people what you're going through. And they act like they don't fucking care. Anyway, I'm going to go. I hear my husband. Bye. 
Shut up. We were being responsible parents. What happens when the money dries up and you can't get a job? What happens when the money dries up and you can't get a job? I don't refuse to get a job. I didn't sit in bed doing nothing. I was helping myself. You guys know nothing about my life. You just see me online. Am I in bed now? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm tired of hearing the excuses. I'm tired of you yelling at me and calling me names. You can't get up and get out and get a fucking real job yourself. I don't believe At least, uh, yeah, you don't believe no, me. No, I don't believe you anymore. Yeah, okay, honey. Oh, anybody could go. Oh, it hurts. Oh. Wow, now anybody you're making can, fun of how I walk. Anybody can do that. Anybody. Wow, now you're making fun of how I walk. No, I wouldn't make fun of you because when you come at me and try and almost kill me... I try to kill you now. You don't do that. Okay, honey. You have no pain when you're triggered and you come at me. You move, you move fast. You're lying. I'm lying. Yep. Okay. You're lying, but... Oh, okay, honey. Yep. I told you what the doctors say about it, but everyone said I was lying about it. Anyway. Like, do you ever think how bad you guys are going to look? When, when you start seeing me go involved, when you start seeing me go through one surgery to another, when maybe you see me pass away, do you know how bad you guys are going to look like you literally fucking tortured and invalidated a woman who was really fucking sick and was trying to tell you? Because that's not why the boys are gone. The boys are gone is because I'm sick. I'm dying and they needed somewhere safe to be. Do you get that? <sighs> they shouldn't have to be stressed out seeing their mother dying, frankly. No hair loss from your chemo? That's good, Krissa. I'm, I'm horrified over that, like, all of, let me ask you, do you feel better after chemo at all, or do you feel worse after it, like, do you feel, like, when you go through it, do you, like, For a while you feel bad, but better later. This sucks. I don't want to go through it. Worth trying, Shani. Yeah, true. It's rough because it's like, I, I, I barely have the strength for anything anymore. And it's like, you got to go through this horrible shit. Whatever. 
I really do, like, seriously, for all the people out there, I really need support at this time. I really do, because I'm, I'm going through a hard time. And Jason's going through a hard time. It's not easy seeing your fucking wife die in front of you. Especially a very similar way how his mom died. Yeah, kind of. It's gotta be like deja vu. Yeah. You don't think the big C spread to your brain, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it is a tumor. Could be a tumor. They're trying to get us to rage, dear. I just don't care enough to rage anymore. No. I really don't. I don't care enough to. No. They want us to rage over stuff. And like it's what like, though? Well, the, they think they think they they have us on certain lies. Okay. Like what? The cancer thing, for instance. No. And we know the truth about it. So, like, they're continuing to do this stupid shit, and they're acting like idiots and becoming fools. What the, hell, what the hell is there anything lying about cancer when you're literally just on a, a road? Of, of... Healthcare road. Yeah, I know. That's all that's happening. I don't know. What the fuck is lying about that? I don't know. I'm getting the help I need. So. Yeah, maybe that's why they're pissed, because, like, maybe she won't die. Maybe it's not going to be terminal. Maybe. Maybe I will survive this. That what pisses them off? Maybe. Well, I hope it does, but I ain't telling them anything that's going on with my body. I know, so that's what I'm saying. What the hell are you lying about? Exactly, <laughs> man. I am not going to show my diagnosis when I have a right to my own medical privacy, you psycho. No, we have plans. I'm going to be cremated and, and be planted in a cherry tree. Because I, I know they're going to a safe home where they're going to be taken care of, where they're going to be loved. And where they don't have to see their mom suffer. Yeah. Like, can you imagine seeing your mom every day just scream out in pain just to go into the bathroom every time? Yeah. No, the state didn't take them. We just gave them for respite care, okay? They needed respite care, or I need respite care. Um, I'm going to be having an aide come into the house soon to take care of me. You know, we can't, the boys can't be around when this stuff happens. You know, chemo is going to be the hardest, and I may lose my hair. I just, I ask people, if I do lose my hair, please don't make fun of me. Please don't make fun oh, of me about it. God, yeah, sometimes. But you just had a huge pop. I know, I just had a huge pop. From somewhere. <laughs> My neck. Was that right your here. neck? That, that crunch, you know what? That was your neck? That was my neck. Baby. I know that terrifies that really you. really scared me. That's how his mom died. Yeah. Her cancer got so bad that it broke her neck. T1. Yep. The first vertebrae. Four, and I think I have cancer. Inkling Knuckles has it, too. I love my girl. Bobby. I love you. Well, he... I talk... Well, the thing is, Drag, about Rev's mom is, like... I have all the symptoms his mom has. Or had. You, so, have, you even have... But you have that cancer smell, too. 
Yeah, I know. That's what really scares me. The cancer smell? You got that, too, on top of it. That means yeah. late stage, probably. <sighs> Screw this, man. Rev, does it bother you caring for someone who reminds you of your mom? No. No, I think God, like, w I was supposed to do this. Like, I was supposed to take care of my mom like that, and then Shannon came into my life, and there's so many connections that we have in terms of, like, our names, and, 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 the, and, and like, you, you have Davis's in your side, and it, it's crazy. We have so many things that God's like, you should be together, that I'm, I'm probably supposed to take care of you through this. Baby. Yeah. Thanks. I'm supposed to. It's like a God thing. He put, this is what was put on my life, you know? Yeah, well, I'm definitely not going to sit around and watch her die. Like, I would, I want, but it's also up to her if she wants treatment. That's another thing. Because you're, if your cancer's far along, they could start the treatments, you die fast. Yeah, I don't want to do that. We got to see where I am. We got to get the prognosis. Yeah. Of where I am, but that requires a bunch of fucking doctor's appointments. Of course. And you're waiting. I'm you waiting just, for them to call. Well, you are you're just waiting. It's ridiculous. You the waiting game will kill people. Yeah. Oh. I don't think it's the native blood. Why, I'm, uh, why I have so many illnesses. I just think it's just... Genetic lottery. Yeah. It's the genetic lottery. Genetic mostly. and environmental lottery. You spin the wheel and then it's you get what you get. <laughs> <clears throat> but I don't think it's my native genetics, no. I don't know why people have this lack of communication thing lately where they want to hear what they want to hear and they have like a selective hearing thing. But what point... In my conversations, when I say the doctors say this and the doctors say that, do you communicate it to she hasn't seeked any help? Okay, not getting a prognosis yet is not, is not equal to not seeking help. It's called not having the appointment where you sit down and you talk to the doctor on what's going on with your body and, and what the cancer is doing to your body and, and how what is the battle plan to help you with it. I haven't gone through that process yet. I'm waiting for the appointment. Appointments are, are months are scheduled months before I can even get them. So I don't know what your fucking problem is when I say I haven't gotten a prognosis because I haven't gotten my doctor's appointment yet. How is that equal to not seeking fucking help? It's called not having a doctor's appointment. Like, And I'm sorry, you want to have the answers right fucking now, but I haven't had the fucking appointment yet. Do you fucking communicate that in your your brain yet 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 do you get that in your fucking brain god damn god damn you people are so fucking dumb holy fuck Holy fuck! And I'm not saying that to my whole audience, I just want to let people know. It's the dumb people in the audience that are constantly nagging me for questions and answers that I don't even have answers to yet. So how about you give me the time to fucking get the answers, and then I will answer you. Until then, you're just going to be an annoying little fucking tick on my goddamn skin, sucking me goddamn dry. Oh. Oh, 
Oh my God, how do you know if you're dying if you haven't been to the doctor then? Did I, oh, did I say I didn't go to a fucking doctor? Oh my God, you're so fucking stupid. I know my doctor is sending me to the fucking gynecologist first before a fucking oncologist how the fuck does that make any fucking sense why are you sending me to a fucking gynecologist when I need a fucking oncologist just tell me I don't fucking understand this <sighs> yeah and I'm losing more and more more and more weight I'm having incontinence problems. I'm 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 having problems with breathing. Like I need some serious issues and they all and they all put these fucking appointments months apart from each other. But yet you have to have this certain appointment before you can have the actual appointment that will actually help you. Nah, I keep it dry. Just gonna be like that. That's just how it is. Oh well, soon I won't have a boob, so whatever. Won't we'll have to worry about no fucking hurting boob no more. I understand Trisha's point of view on that because I live it too. You know, I'm 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 what people consider a micro influencer, but I'm still known by millions of people. So usually throughout my day, I I get hundreds of hate messages. Usually throughout the day, hundreds of hate messages and I, I know it's the same with every fucking celebrity and social influence out there you're, you're gonna get hate you can't make everyone happy you know sometimes you have to accept the hate with the adoration that you get as being an influencer I get it but there are times in your life where all that attention can be overwhelming because every celebrity every influencer is human I've been very much used, like a lot of celebrities do. Um, a lot of social social influencers get used on a daily basis. Um, I don't. Even, I I wasn't the one who coined myself a micro influencer. It was actually a article within the um what the fuck is that fucking newspaper i was the insider yeah that's a big one the insider you know it's it's it you know i'm i was in the same newspaper as politicians and all the high celebrities and stuff so they they coined me micro influencer is the insider so I'm just using that. Um, mm. 
you can't believe people would fake caring for someone just for monetary gain. They do it in Hollywood all the time, guys. They do it in Hollywood all the time, guys. It's not that surprising. It's just it carried on to YouTube and the internet. So I wanted to make a video out of it. Just use this as an example of one of the weirdest, like, things you can get as a social media influencer or celebrity. Um, there's really not much difference other than one's on the internet while the other's on TV and movie screens. But still widely known by a lot of people. Have I thought about moving to L.A.? I'm scared of California because that's going to go in the ocean. And knowing my luck, as soon as I get into California, that's when fucking California will slip in the ocean. I guarantee it. So, I don't know. <laughs> If I have breast cancer too with cardiomyopathy, what the fuck am I going to do? I can't survive. That's all. And I know Jason's being bothered by this cancer thing, but at the same time, I need to talk about what's going on with me. I need to get it out of my system. I can't just keep it in my, he my head for his sake because I, I, it, it involves me, you know? Um, I have to listen to Yeah, this. I know, and I'm going to have to face it. I get that. Let's. Well, we can face it now and make it easier. Yeah, I know. You, you can't run away from all your problems, Jason. You need to let me be, dude. The shit I've gone through, and I know you have too, but I can only handle so much when it comes to my mother. And this is reminding me of that so bad. I need support. Yeah, I know you do, and I'll give it to you, but I, I, I just need to be medicated more, I think. Then don't run away. I need it. So. Oh, my God, Shannon. Jesus Christ, can we stop talking about this or something, man? Is this... I'll get out of here. I'll just go and try and do something with the car. It's freaking you out. Yeah, because it's my mom, you know? I'm Because I'm handicapped. I can't work. Like, what do you do if you're handicapped and you can't fucking work? And now I'm worrying about cancer. Like, what happens if I, like, I go through chemo and all my hair falls out? Like, you know how many people are going to make fun of me over that? I don't want to be made fun of for that, you know? Because it's not, like, something I can help. I'm trying to get myself better. But I am very aware of what happens in these things. In a man, like they flatten your boobs to like, like they put you in like. Yeah, two, they hurt my mommy. What they do is they take two uh, metal sheets and they put one under your breast and then one here and they flatten it as hard as they can, and then they X-ray it. Oh my God. Yeah. But see, they're gonna have to figure out where it's at. Yeah. You're right about that one. And that could involve exploratory surgery even. Sure, of course. I understand that. I totally understand that. I wish. Uh, multiple myeloma. Yeah. I want to move to Ennett, uh, North Carolina and go to UNC okay. and get treatment from them. Yeah, I understand that one. Though. Because UNC has the best uh, treatment know, for Shannon. those. I know. For, I, I, talk, I know the doctors. Yeah, I've dealt with a lot of this. I don't want to die. My life is awesome right now. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, it's a, as awesome as it can be, but I mean, it's it's full of hope in a way, and and not in a way, you know, because I I am getting very bad marks on my breasts, and I need to go into a uh fuck is the cancer doctors called oh my god Shannon 
an oncologist, sorry, an oncologist. Um, I gotta get that taken care of, but before that, I have an appointment on Friday with a cardiologist, so, um, I'm just gonna let him look at it and be, give me the oncologist thing, because it's like, I'm just going to one doctor's appointment to another, I'm going to the oncologist, I'm, or not the oncologist, I'm going to the cardiologist, I'm going to my therapist, you know, and then I'm going to be starting soon the dialectic behavior therapy, but I have to, I'm on a waiting list for that, so I got to wait for that to happen, but, um, when is this place going to open? But, um, I just... I have a lot, and I know there's a lot of people who worry about me. And here I am saying I'm having a cardiologist and I'm smoking cigarettes. Well, that's what I get for not having weed, okay? I need something. Some kind of smoke. Some kind of smoke in my frickin' temple, yo. Some kind. Because I, I, I need it. I need it. You see that? That's what I'm talking about. Marks like that. And I can't hide them because it's like the summertime and like... <sighs> summertime clothes. Trust me, it looks better when it's like... I'm not sitting. My boobs are higher. But right now I'm in a weird angle, so... Just... I'll keep it up here. Like I said, it's the summer and I don't like to wear clothes in the summer. Because I get way too hot. But anyway, I try to keep most of my stuff covered up. I wish I had some tape. If I had some boob tape, that would be perfect. Like boob tape, like right there. Like, freaking Trisha Paid is trying to freaking cover her boobs up. But anyway, hello, summertime, and your lack of freaking coverage of the titties, especially big titties, they can never be fucking hid. But, yeah, that's why I'm not leaving, is for the people who just legitly care. Like, why, like, seriously, why should I leave YouTube because of fucking assholes? It's not right to the people who actually do care about me. And no, I don't want people to know my fucking business either at the same time. But it's like, you're at a catch-22 because you have a lot of people that fucking genuinely care about you. Weedle, I love you, but you could go outside. Get off my hand. Listen. Frank, the beetle, you're going to chill outside of my car. Be free. You don't need to be smoking cigarettes in here while I'm waiting for a fucking building to open up. Anyway. I'll let you go, you bastards. Just, just, just know that I love you guys, but you guys need to be fucking nicer to me because I, I'm a woman that's going through a lot and I could be perpetual, perpet I could be looking at the last part of my life. So be nice to me. Because I'm not, I'm not well. And I don't know if I'm going to die of a heart attack or fucking die of fucking cancer. Yay! <laughs> I guess you got your wish, Blue. Like, all those times you said, I hope you get cancer and die. Huh. I'm facing that reality. So I'm going to do you a favor, Blue. I'm going to let you watch me suffer and die so you can feel better about such a 
wonderful human being you are for wishing that upon someone just to see them go through it. I hope, I hope it gives you joy and satisfaction. I hope it gives you some twisted form of justice in your head. You know, I hope it's nice for you guys to see me get what I, I guess I deserve. After I've given so much to you guys in the community, but it doesn't fucking matter. I'm still an awful piece of shit person. So you get your wish. You get your wish. You get to see me die of cancer. So I hope you're fucking happy. I am a woman who is suffering from breast cancer, MS, fibromyalgia. I yeah, she said she wants to go to my mammogram with me. So I never so said I was going to get my mammogram. To all the strings to make this crime Nick. happen. And over time, then I don't want to talk about it right now. Now, just a heads up, but there is so much. Oh God, you have no idea how heartbreaking it is. But at the same time, it's best for them. It's best for them. They can't see their mom dying. Mm -hmm. No, that's horrible. And they're also gonna get me an aid. A nursing aid? Yeah. So I'm that bad, guys. I'm that bad. I, I told Tommy, I need to get my mammogram. I need to get an MRI. Yeah. And then, um, I also need to get the surgery for the fucking these marks right here, oh, they're okay. going to be doing surgery on that. Okay. A biopsy. So, and they'll probably dig deep in the fucking breast too. Like my mom, when she had skin cancer, they dug about two, three, four inches into her skin. Ooh. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm, a lot of my breast is going to be missing. So, like, Oh my God, I didn't say I didn't have the test for cancer. I did, and it came up positive. I positive, I positive. I have to have other tests to see where it is so they can get a prognosis. Doctors. When did you hear this? When I called the doctors last time about my blood tests. Oh. Why do you think I freaked out the way I did? I didn't are on like this ass I'm on an Asperger spectrum too mm -hmm. so noise really bothers me too so I don't even know how I would function oh, in, in the city man. how you know someone has a, such a mentally de de deliberate god this MS is not helping me <sighs> when I know I'm gonna die Sitting in that car, cause I can't- I have to keep my leg elevated or I'll get a blood clot. <laughs> he gave me a death sentence and he doesn't care. He doesn't fucking care! Oh, plus, plus also, um, 
the doctor has given me a handicap sticker for the car, so um, I'll have handicap parking. So I guess the doctor has officially put me as a handicap person. So that's good. That's good on my way of getting um, Social Security is I'm officially handicapped, according to the doctor. So I'm on the spectrum. Um, I never got fully tested for autism. It's more like, um, I would think more like Asperger's type. I didn't talk until I was four. And my mom never got me checked out for it, but I am on the spectrum. I don't think you should self-diagnose, Shani. I'm not self-diagnosing. I'm just saying I'm on the spectrum. doesn't mean that I'm diagnosing anything. It means that I carry symptoms and attributes toward autism. Anyway. Hey guys, it's Rev. I just wanted to let you know that um, you got Shani all taken care of, you know. Um, she's all, she had her Taco Bell, she had her medication, and now she's just going to have a nice, wonderful little nap for herself. So isn't yeah. it wonderful? Call the cops. I want out of this relationship.